Hey there, and welcome back to week 11 of Kyle and Maggie's Money Making Picks. Sorry we're coming out with a late video, but we're still here for you guys. We did pretty well last week. We went 2, 1, and 1. You went... 1, 0, oh, and 1. And what, what's your record on the season? 8, 11, and 1. 8, 11, and 1, and I'm 11, 8, and 1. So that brings us to 19, 19, and 2. We're back to 500. We're on a roll right now. Like we, we were down there for a while. We were the not-so-money-making picks there for a while. So let's just go ahead and dive into week 11. All right. Go ahead. So my first pick, I'm, it worked last week, so I'm going to do it again and go with the Colts. Okay. Minus one and a half at home against the Titans. So, okay. again, the Colts, they're pretty lucky right now. They had a bye week, and then they're on game two out of three that are home in a row. So I just think they've got a good environment that's in their favor. I like that. I'm also going with the Colts. Oh, yeah, yeah, minus one and a half. Uh, <laughs> Tennessee is just one and six against the spread in their last seven games against the Colts. They're also just three and ten in their last thirteen games against the Colts. And this is all in Indy. Sorry, this is all at Indy. But uh, I just think that the Colts this is a huge home game. They're and with the spread, that means that Vegas doesn't think they're the better team. I actually do think they're the better team. So only minus one and a half. You get three points for being a home team, anyways. Mm -hmm. So I think that they're going to win, and I think it might even be like a seven to ten point win instead of just a couple points. So. Oh, cool. I like it. <laughs> You want to go with your second one? <laughs> yeah, my second one. I actually have some stats prepared. Okay. Right. So I'm going with the Steelers minus four and a half on the road against the Jags. So the Steelers are on a five-game winning streak compared to the Jags' five-game losing streak. <laughs> um, the Steelers have a winning record on the road, and they're averaging a lot more points per game. So okay. like they get 31 points per game compared to the Jags' 17 points right. per game. All right, I like it. So... That's what I'm going with. <laughs> <laughs> um, my second game is the Eagles plus 7.5 against New Orleans. Everything tells you to pick New Orleans. They've won 7 straight against the spread. I'm going with the Eagles. I think it's Super Bowl champions. They're on the rope. If they lose this game, they're likely to have no chance to make the playoffs. 7.5 points is a lot to give Carson Wentz. They haven't lost by that margin since week 13 of last season. So I don't know if they win the game, but I think this is... They give it their all. They're, it's a close competitive game, and I think over a touchdown is a little too much to ask for in this game, so I'm going to go with the Eagles plus 7.5. All right. All right, well, best of luck, and if you haven't seen, go ahead and click up there at the top and look at my college basketball picks. They're actually doing pretty well right now. Went 2-0 yesterday, and I'm 13-10 and on the season, and uh, good luck with your fantasy matchups.